first love We were young and wild We were up all night You don't forget that Summer sun 2009 We were feeling high And I got drunk for the first time I thought I was cool I thought I looked smooth in your eyes And tried to Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of my spring cleaning and decluttering series here on my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany Jade and I hope that you would consider sticking around and hitting that little red subscribe button. Today's video is going to be focused on deep cleaning my kitchen area as well as my living room and I'm going to be taking you guys through all of the dirty little tasks that I only manage to get done a couple of times a year and spring cleaning is definitely one of them. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you have a kitchen that needs to get some serious spring cleaning done, I hope that you would prop me up on a TV somewhere and clean with me. Let me know down in the comments if you are one of those old school people who still puts a piece of tin foil or a pan at the bottom of your oven. That is just how I grew up and that is pretty much what I know from my childhood. So that's just something that I always do. But I did want to give my oven a nice clean. We've been in this house for a year and I've never cleaned the oven so it was definitely necessary. And that a lot of elbow grease went into cleaning this oven, you guys. I did end up using my glass top scraper to get a lot of that film and grime off, and I scrubbed this down with my heavy duty degreaser. All of the cleaning products that I use in today's video, I'll have linked down below, which I get from the Grove Collaborative. And if you use my little referral code, you can get some money off of your first purchase. I feel really embarrassed to admit it, but I have to say this. I did not know that ovens had a self-cleaning button on most of them if they're newer model ovens. And so I scrubbed this baby by hand, but please save yourself the muscle in your arms and hit that self-clean button if you have it. I don't recommend cleaning it this way, but I am happy that I used some non-toxic products and I ended up getting it really clean. Actually, you'll see in a little bit here. I'm letting the heavy degreaser sit while I move on to the next area in the house and I'm going to be working on underneath the sink area here where I store a lot of the cleaning products and I'm just going to be cleaning out all of the buckets that store all of the products and I'm going to be giving down just every area underneath that sink a wipe down. I'm a little bit naughty. I'm a little bit too consumed But every part of my body Is telling me to run away from you Come a little bit closer Yeah, yeah Come a little bit closer Yeah You're a little bit crazy It's been days but you never change What's love got to do with it? He comes around better not that stuff down Come a little bit closer yeah, yeah, come a little bit closer, yeah To so all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye-bye So I don't have any place to store my rubber gloves, so I picked up this hack. It's just a Dollar Tree 
shower ring with the hooks and I used a command hook and I hang my gloves up right underneath there which I thought was really cool so if you don't have any space to hang up your gloves or towels or anything you want to hang underneath the sink I definitely recommend using that trick yeah I can really start over yeah in the back of my mind there's someone waiting on Spring cleaning is all about getting those areas in your house that you don't normally tackle in your weekly cleaning or maybe even your monthly cleaning. So cleaning things like these window slides is a huge thing that I like to tackle when I'm spring cleaning. And I just love this. It just gets really nasty in here. So definitely make sure that you don't forget this spot in your house along your windows. I'm gonna go ahead and go through my cabinets and this cabinet in particular is filled with all of my kids things but there's a lot of clutter in here and things that I need to get rid of so I'm gonna be going ahead and going through everything that I have here I'm gonna rearrange these cabinets a little bit and I'm gonna get rid of a lot of like my pump parts since I'm not pumping anymore and a lot of the old bottles and things like that so I'm going to be decluttering and I really like the way that this turned out. This is a great way that you can go ahead and revamp your space, just putting things in different places and making sure that you're getting rid of any like expired products or anything that you don't necessarily use on a regular basis. Decluttering that and giving everything a nice home will just make everything just feel way better. Drop down in the comments and let me know if you have any Tupperware that you need to organize and get through. Let this be the motivation you need to get up and declutter your extra Tupperware right now because this little lazy Susan drawer in my house has been driving me crazy for weeks, you guys. So what a better time than now to go ahead and declutter everything. I'm gonna take everything out and start from ground zero because that's my favorite way to do it. And I'm going to match up all of the lids with what I actually have. And I'm gonna get rid of the Tupperware that's all stained and that's like old and ugly and I'm just gonna get rid of it and I'm only gonna keep what we need what we have and what we use on a regular and what still looks nice and what still has a matching lid and I was surprised I actually made a lot of space in this little area after I got rid of all of the extra stuff so get up organize that Tupperware you guys let's do this What happened to us? What happened to all the love we always took for granted? Are we stranded? Is it too late? Is it too late to color feelings that have faded? Complicated. at 
keeping our glass top stove clean and I actually just got this little scraper tool that Yesenia over at Yesenia's Life, she's another cleaning mama, she posted about this and I got it right away and literally this thing is a life changer. I'll have it linked down below for you guys if you struggle too with keeping your glass stove top clean but I really love the way that this turned out. I think that it looks so good and I just love it. I lied to them that the West Memphis are guilty, and I put it in the grave. Because again, going from this experience, this never dares worse nightmare than to be victimized by the system again because the police and the prosecution have lied to them. That's the other part that people don't know. As long as the stars in the sky. So I recently heard somewhere that this little area underneath your oven is actually meant to keep your food warm, but I have never used it for that. I've always used it for my baking pans. Let me know down below what you guys use that part of your oven for. But look at how clean this oven came out, you guys. I told ya, this came out so good, and I'm so proud of how clean it is, even though I had to slave to get it here. What do we do when we lost it? recently just heard on my girl Bits of Brie or Brianna K here on YouTube's channel that your sink actually holds more fecal bacteria than your toilet, which seriously grosses me out, you guys. I mean, I clean my sink on a daily basis and I definitely recommend that you guys do the same anyways, but that's the reason why I'm including it in this spring cleaning video because I want to stress the importance of making sure that you keep your sink clean on a daily, as well as replacing your little food catchers there in your sink. I went ahead and threw away my old ones and got new ones to go in here for um, the spring. I am using this almond good for wood cleaner to clean all of my cabinets and I'm also using it to clean the baseboards here at the bottom of my cabinets. I know that there's a technical name for this space underneath your kitchen cabinets and my husband is probably laughing right now that I don't know it since he's a custom cabinet maker but it's really important that we keep these clean and I do like to do this a couple of times a year. So come and light me up As much as I try to be really careful with my oven while I'm cooking, I just can't prevent any foods from spilling. So it is super important that you clean behind your appliances, maybe at least once or twice a year. So I'm just cleaning up behind my oven here and I had to use my husband's manpower to pull out the appliances for me, but it actually is not that bad. So you can totally do it yourself, but it's super important that you get behind here at least a couple of times a year to prevent the food from building up and any grease or anything like that that gets back here. I'm going to be doing the same thing with my refrigerator in just a moment.
With my living room declutter, I'm gonna go ahead and give my couch a deep clean. And this includes getting all of the gross stuff that is underneath all of the cushions, as well as underneath the couch. I'm gonna give it a nice clean with my vacuum here. And I really love this vacuum because it has all of these attachments, which just makes cleaning so much easier. And of course it's cordless, so I can just take it wherever I want. And I don't have to worry about plugging it in anywhere. And I'm just gonna put these cushions back. This is a great opportunity to go and like wash your throws or wash your pillow covers or anything that you need to on your couch. I actually have already given my blankets and pillow covers a nice wash here so all I had to do was really give my couch a nice deep clean and then if you also have to spot clean any spots on your couch because you know kids are messy then this would be a perfect time to go ahead and do that as well. you guys enjoyed this week's spring cleaning video if you're new here again please make sure you hit that subscribe button you don't want to miss next week in my part three spring cleaning series where I'm going to be tackling some closets and drawers in my house I hope this gave you guys tons of motivation make sure that you drop a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye